Hello, I'm back again, Luter FM, with another episode of the Retro Database 2007-2008 um, Coventry City Save, um, where you left us off last. We started the episode well with two wins, and then we come unstuck, um, losing 4-3 to Colchester with future sign-in Teddy Sheringham. Yes, I signed 41-year-old in the game, Teddy Sheringham, to play for us coming in January. So he'll be playing for us, I don't know how long he'll play for, but... We assigned him. He scored the winner um, in the Colchester game for Colchester. So that was a bit bit uh, bittersweet. Um, he could have at least missed it as he's coming to us, but oh well. And then we lost 3-1 to Norwich to end the episode. So hopefully we'll bounce back in the next in this in this game. Um, we've got Scunthorpe now coming up in a second. And then we've got Sheffield Wednesday. We've got Colchester again. Um, weirdly, we played them on the 9th of December and also the 26th of December, but that's just how it is sometimes. And then we'll finish the episode probably with the Southampton game or we might extend it and play uh, the next game, which will be against Ipswich um, the 1st of January. So we'll see how we get on. But anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first game. Right, so we are playing... Um, Scunthorpe next uh, in this game um, we've got Mackenzie and Best up front Tav and Kerr on the wings Hughes and Osborne in midfield Borrowdale and Richardson as the fullbacks um, Turner and D'Azur as the centre-back partnership and Dimitris in goal so let's just see how we get on I don't think Scunthorpe have any players notable but we'll see um, Joe Murphy was a decent he played for Cov as well at some point Jack Jack Pork, he was he ended up having a decent career. Um, but I think that's about it, really. I don't let's have a look at the subs bench. Yeah, that's about it, really, as far as I know. I mean, uh, Scumfoot fans might disagree with me. But, um, yeah, right. There we go. Right, let's get on with the game. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but it worked out in our favour. Dimitris keeps hold of it. Throws it out to Turner. Borrowdale with the ball. Gives it to Tab. Tab unfortunately missed pass. Uh, inter the pass gets intercepted. But we still get it back with Richardson to Osborne. Best. Floats it up. Headed out. Have it back with Tab. Luke Tab not having the best of game so far. He needs to concentrate. Uh, where's concentrate on here? Oh, we scored. It doesn't matter. 1 0. I missed that because I was too busy trying to concentrate on that. J tab with the assist. There you go. So we don't need to team. We don't need to hassle it now. Uh, I'll leave it. It doesn't matter. You saw it. That's all that matters. <clears throat> Mackenzie. Oh, what a shot. What a beautiful shot. 2 0. I like that. Game over already. 14 minutes, absolutely destroying them. The Leon brothers, Leon McKenzie and Leon Best. Best gives it to Tab. Good cross. Ooh, just headed over. Caro drives in the corner. Best headers it straight to the goalie. We're now back up to fifth in the league. Uh, we're four points behind second place. Oh, I don't, I don't, I think we're going to struggle to get automatic promotion because every time we get a bit of a run, we then end up going on a bit of a losing run and undo undoes all the work that we put in, basically. Good defensive play there. Corner to Scumpole. Headed out. Kara heads it out as well. Leads to nothing. Corner to us. Borrowed out. Drives it in with a bit of bit of a bit of a sting on that. Mackenzie passes it. That's a foul. That's a clear obvious foul. Great dive by Kara. <laughs> Hughes. Get in. 
Michael Hughes with his third goal of the season. 3-0 win. Definitely game over now. Even if I think even if Scunthorpe score here, I think we're alright. It's not even the end of the first start. Oh, there we go. Scunthorpe giving himself a slight chance, I'll say. Um, in my head, I thought it was later in the game than it was. I didn't realise it's only been the first half. So, we won't say we're completely out of the water yet, but we'll see. Nice bit of passing sequences going on here with the triangles. Floats it up. With the ah, I thought she went straight to Murphy. Right, I think that's pretty much it when this highlight finishes. I think that'll be the end of the first half. Michael Hughes has the ball. Kazoo calmly passes it to Osborne. Caro, nice through ball. Oh, Mackenzie, he could have scored that then easily. I think it was harder for you to miss that than score it. Good header there, Sav. Caro. Oh my God, Caro, you're not playing rugby, mate. Have a word. Borrowdale with the free kick. I don't think he's going to shoot from here. Passes it to Mackenzie. Oh, what a God. Mackenzie don't score boring goals, does he? Look at that. Beautiful shot by him. 4-1. Definitely game over now. Mackenzie on the on course for his hat-trick. That's fine. We'll take that. Um, When do we think about putting on subs? I think I'll wait until a few players are knackered. I don't. I don't think there's any need to take anybody off just yet. Scunthorpe trying to get back in the game here. Good clearance by Dazu. Unfortunately, rebounds and then, yeah, that was a bit of a poor defensive play there. If they get another one, then I'm going to be quite concerned. Oh, here we go. Michael Hughes. This is where we draw 4-4, four, four, everybody. Right, Leon Best is going to have to be sacrificed. We'll put him here. And then, I don't we'll put him here. Michael Doyle is a midfielder. And then we'll go very defensive. Um, stay on feet. Yeah, Scunthorpe will feel like they can get into this back into this game now. Oof, they nearly did. They nearly did. Right, let's just try and waste a bit of time here. Kill this. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Um, what's his best role? Advanced playmaker support. There we go. We'll put you in a more defensive. There we go. Right, like so. No, no, not support. I want. There we go. Right. Let's get another goal, please. Let's see this game out. I'll be really annoyed if this ends 4 4. We end up losing now. That would be typical of me, though, on this game. Reminds me of the. Uh, was it Rafe Rovers save where I was winning? Yeah, when I was winning 4 0, and then they had drawn 4 4, and that happened two games in a row where I was winning 4 0, coasting, and then come back and drew the game. And I've got a feeling this is going to end this way as well. What worries me is there's still plenty of time for them to score a winner as well. <clears throat> come on. Good header out. Let's get it out. There you go, Turner. Good defensive play by you. Oh, no, 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 no. 
good. Right, Stephen Hughes, let's go. Come on, let's break. From the Ah, oh, beautiful. Go on, McKenzie, get your hat-trick. Oh, okay, bit bit selfless there by him. Oh, great, should have gave it back to McKenzie. Okay, right. Tick-tock, tick-tock, let's go, let's go. How long's left? Right, five minutes. Come on, right, corner to us. Let's waste a bit of time with this corner, everybody. Take your time, Caro. Make sure you pass it to at least one of our players. We don't want to give Scunthorpe the chance to counter-attack here. Good. Go on, Stephen Hughes. Take a shot. Oh, we could have put an end to that then. All right, come on. No more highlights, thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Ah, that was tougher than it should have been. But we managed to get the win in the end. Great display by McKenzie. When's the next game? Seven days. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we've got Sheffield Wednesday now. Um, Miss Food's back. Thank God for that. Him and Best up front, even though McKenzie did really well when called upon. Um, McNamini is the right back today. And then I think that's Pew, uh, Pew's back as well. Because I don't think he's been here for a while. So hopefully stronger team. We'll see how we get on. Kenzie on the bench. No. Right, Caro. Corner headed out. Still got the ball over Borrodell. Beautiful pass to uh, Pew. Unfortunately, Pew can't do anything with it. Loses the ball. And uh, Sheffield Wednesday counter attack, but we managed to force the bad pass there. McNamini, Caro. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Second goal season for Caro. 1 0 to us. We are doing well in this episode so far. Famous last words, I know. Um, Danny Pugh stuck at the tight path. We'll just ignore that for now. Caro. Ah, that's unfortunate. And he went in. Good save there by Dimitris. Confident save. Pew with the ball. Loses it. Oh, Misford manages to get the ball off him. <sighs> Nearly scores on his return. We've got a corner. Stephen Hughes. I need to put Stephen Hughes in a more familiar role because he's not a... Defensive midfielder usually. Oh, Jeffers, is that Francis Jeffers? It must be, it wouldn't be any other Jeffers, would it? Maybe Sean Jeffers? I don't think it's him. I'll have a look at the Sheffield Wednesday team in a minute to see if they've got anybody decent. Poor Sheffield Wednesdays have had have had many years of uh, um, just nothing right going for them. Really, I feel sorry for Sheffield Wednesday fans. Good shot, great save. Right, let's have a look who they've got. So Sheffield Wednesday, Lee Grant, I remember him. Richard Wood, former well future Coventry player. I think I don't I don't think he I think he went from Sheffield Wednesday to Coventry. Glenn Whelan, I've heard of him. Francis Jeffers, there you go. Let's have a quick look at him. So, went to our Everton and then Charlton and then kind of just drifted into obscurity. Really, well, not obscurity, but didn't exactly hit the heights he was meant to hit. I mean, I remember when he went to Arsenal, he was the, the next big thing. Uh, just didn't really work out for him. Right, still 1-0 at half-time. Corner to Sheffield Wednesday, though. They have got uh, decent enough players to get back in this game. So we've got to be at our best here. Mm. 
I jinxed us. I really did. Right. 1-1. One, one. Hopefully we can get back in the game. Still one one. Take care of put Wayne Andrews on, take Osborne off, put Mark Doyle on, Borrowdale can come off, and Gideons can come on, and then Dazoo can come off, and Taylor Hawkins can come off. Right, let's see what the quad, uh, quadruple substitutions will do. Oh, we need scored then. Misford. Andrews, come on, let's get a late winner, lads. McNamony, beautiful ball. Oh, that was such a misplaced pass there. That could have been so much better. Hey, we got a penalty out of it. Who, was, who am I to complain? Giddings, the ginger Roberto Carlos, lines up the penalty. Will he score? He does get in. Go on, Giddings. First goal of the season for him. Right, 2 1. Let's finish this game now, please. Right, we're two points behind second place, Southampton. There's still a chance. Very, like a small chance, but slightly better than it was earlier on. Um, that was my dog, by the way, that you just heard. Sorry. Right then. Let's just holiday three days till the Colchester game. We have a. A loss we need to avenge. Hopefully Sheringham's not playing because he played very well against us. A happy uh, Boxing Day to everybody on the game here. 26th of December. Just go through these. Uh, we've had a few loan offers for Kevin Carr. We'll accept, accept them because we don't want him in the club no more. We'll uh, offer Caro a new contract, keep him away from potential suitors. Ah, oh, Giddens is out for a few days. Right. So Marcus Hall has had to play because both our other left backs are injured. Hawkins and Turner in a centre back partnership, which really scares me. Uh, McNamony is right back, Hughes and Osborne as always, Pew and Tab as always. And then Misfit and Best, as always. So, yeah, the def central defensive partnership is quite concerning. Turner's not too bad. Hawkins is not that good. Colchester at the first highlight is Sheringham playing. I wonder if Jamie Vardy's in this database. I'll have a look in a sec. I don't think he played football at that point. At this point, I think it was later, maybe. I'll have a look. Good goal by J Tab. Third goal of the season for him. Nice start to the uh, to the match. Right. Let's just click on here. Let's click on him first. Yeah, Colin Hawkins is not good enough. I want to be getting rid of him as soon as possible, preferably. We'll offer some of his wage. Help him get out of the club. Um. Jay Vardy. Yeah, Jamie Vardy. Playing for Stocksbridge. Should we give him a scout? We'll give him a scout. Wanted by Norwich. Okay, we're definitely going to try and buy him. 5k. We can sign Jamie Vardy for literally 2.5, 2.4 grand. I know we've got quite a few strikers, but that's just ridiculous. I know we're quite, I know I said this save isn't going to be about me signing Wonder Kids, but Jamie Vardy's not a wonder kid, is he? Let's be honest. Um, 
he's a late bloomer, as they say. I can't remember how you spell his name. Is that how you spell his name? No. Oh, I'll have a look offline. Um, the the Golo Kanse. No, he's not on there. So, um, yeah, that'd be quite funny to sign Jamie Vardy for 2.4k. He's probably not very good in this particular database, but could be wrong. I mean, I mean, Norwich are after him, so he must be actually pretty pretty decent if they're after him as a championship club after him. Might be worth us having a look offline. I'll have a look offline. I'll go through all the conference teams and the lower division teams and that and see if we can unearth a, a gem from the non-leagues. Let me know in the comment section if you can think of any other players like similar to Vardy. Right, still 1-0. Eight minutes gone. Feels like there's a lot happened in this game, even though there's only been eight minutes played. It's been quite action packed. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. Come on, have a word, ref. Where's the lino? There we go. No, they're going to score it. Yeah. <laughs> good goal by Kevin Watson. Fair play. Yeah, Colchester are not a, an easy team to beat on here by looks of it. Even though they haven't really got any standout play. I mean, I don't think... I don't think Sheringham's playing. Let's have a look. Oh, he is playing. He's captain as well. Good clearance there. Getting quite concerned now. We can't let Colchester beat us twice in one season. That's just not having it. Colin Hawkins is playing atrocious right now. Uh, Rob Page. I didn't realise we have Rob Page. He's in there. Rob Page only rated at two stars. He definitely needs to go as well. We'll offer him out. So we definitely need to be looking for centre backs. Misford is not playing well, so we need to demand more from him. Yeah, Marcus Hall is playing atrocious, but I don't think we've got anybody that can come on for him. Yes, we have. Giddens, I thought was injured. He's not. Giddens should have been playing from the start. I've just, I took Misford off because he's just not playing well enough. Hopefully Wayne Andrews can do better. Osborne, we will take you off. We've got our Mark Doyle. Leon Best can come off as well. Uh, I think we use up all our subs. We have. We need to put these two in more familiar positions. Right. Let's see what the last few minutes are. Oh. oh. Is it our throne or theirs? Our free kick, sorry. Andrews with the free kick. Yes! Wayne Andrews with a great contribution there. Beautiful, beautiful free kick cross. Set piece, sorry, to McNamony who gets the winning goal, I think. We are now neck and neck with Watford on points. Played the same amount of games. So we could get automatic promotion. It is getting slightly better after every game. We've managed to go on a good little run. Hopefully that continues against Southampton. Vardy is interested. Future prospect. Uh, no. I'll send you out to a better club than Stockbridge. No offence to Stockbridge. Stockbridge got anybody else? Probably not. I think he was the only player. Yeah, he's the only player in the squad. I think we've got enough for him. Let's just... 
move this across just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's try and ask them more money next season. Anything else? Improve youth recruitment. Can we get us? Um, can we get a senior affiliate? To give us more money. No, don't let us. Should we try senior affiliate? No, nope, won't let us do that either. Stadium. Can we buy the stadium? That would be nice. All Coventry fans wanted this. Wanted Coventry in real life to buy the Rico Arena, but wouldn't possible. Player isn't good enough. Right. Okay. Player isn't good enough. He's got four stars. What are you on about? I'm gonna not transfer list him. Unavailable loan. And then um, we'll have him as squad player. Still, um, yeah, doesn't want to obviously sign new contract just yet. Uh, we probably are going to have to wait for him because he's improving though. He's 37 years old. He's still improving training. No, stop this. We're, uh, we're signing him to a new contract. We'll have him here until he's 39. Michael Hughes will probably look to get rid of though. Even though he's been pretty decent for us. We'll probably keep Marcus Hall for now as backup, but he will be going in the summer. No offers for Stephen Hughes, which is a shame. Same with Kevin Kyle. The zoo's out. He won't be playing against Southampton. We've managed to convince the board to improve the youth recruitment, which will help us consider the established. So we've got good facilities. So we've got good corporate facilities, training and youth facilities, level two in youth level, good academy coaching and good youth recruitment. So that's good. We can improve on that. We can bring some more young players coming through. No, we don't want to get send them out on loan. Uh, we can do that with you though. Right, um, on a few up here. So, oh, the zoo is playing, surprisingly. Um, pretty much unchanged team in it, yeah. Probably our best lineup at the moment. I'm excited to see how rated, like how how good rated Jamie Vardy is on this database, because obviously they would have put it in in the game that he is. He ends up being a really good player, but. How good, I don't know. But it'd be, it'd be interesting to have a, a young striker like Vardy because most of our players were in their like mid-20s, early early 20s. No, mid-20s, late 20s, sorry. And obviously we're going to have Sheringham as 41. But hopefully he, he'd be a good mentor for Jamie Vardy. Caro, it's a few. Gives it back to Kara. Kara unfortunately scuffs the shot. Scuffs the shot off. Still nil nil. Only a couple of minutes gone though. Um, if we beat Southampton a second at the moment, so if we beat them, we leapfrog past them. I think, in theory, as second. And momentum is on our side. I think we have been playing really well in this episode. I know I've jinxed us now, but you know. Gotta stay positive. That was a very poor pass. They got Cahill in their team at Southampton. Gary Cahill, I think. Caro goes all the way across. Shoots. A bit greedy by him, but I won't. Worth a try. Hughes. Saved by the goalie. Still nil nil. Ward playing one two with McLamini.
Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Caught our keeper off there. 2-1 to... Oh, sorry. 1-0 to Southampton. Let's see if we can bounce back straight away here. We've got a highlight in our favour, I think. Stephen Hughes. Misford. The Zoo. Trying to do a cautious approach here, which is a bit annoying because we're winning, uh, we're losing one nil. The Zoo, Misford, Pero takes it onto the right wing, crosses it in beautifully. Unfortunate by Bess, couldn't get the header on properly. Come on, let's let's see a defensive mistake here. By them, not by us, obviously. They're uh, keeping all the possession here. Oh, no, we've managed to nick it off them. Q lobs it up. Carrot. Ah, oh, beautiful. Is that going to be allowed, though? I think he might be offside. No, no issues. Okay, good. Right. 1 1. Game on, everybody. We've still got a chance of winning this. Oh dear, here we go. Southampton with the free kick. At this point, they don't have James Ward Prowse, I don't think. Luckily for us. I will have a look in a sec, see if he's in the database. I don't think he is, but we'll see. Right. Nope, he is not in the game yet. He will be at some point though, because obviously the database churns out real life regens. So at some point we will have Callum Wilson and James Madison come through the Coventry youth ranks on here, which will be exciting. Hopefully they'll be good on here as they are in real life. Oh. Our keeper does not like... He's not very good at shot stopping, is he? Right, 2-1 Southampton. Uh, our defence is playing not very well. Right, we need to take off him. Fraser can come on. Take off the zoo. Come on, Hawkins, sadly. That's all we've got. Uh, we can't take Ward off because I haven't got your centre-back. So that'll just have to do for now. Take off Borrowdale. Can can put Marcus Hall on. Take off Q. Put on J Tap. Oh, we can take other players off. I thought we used the full ass subs. Deli Adi Bolik is coming on. He is uh, leaving us in the January window. He's going elsewhere. I can't remember who he's going to, but we wish him well. I was going to have a look then, but as always, when I want to look at something, it goes to a match highlight, which is always a way. Go on, that's good. Beautiful. Go on, Addy Bowler. Yes, go on, Delhi. First goal of the season for him. Leaving the fans with something to remember him by. Right, let's have a quick look before the highlight comes up. He is going to... Uh, he's going to a Nigerian team called Eniyumba Abba. Have they got anybody? No. Might be worth scouring Africa as well, because you never know who might be in there. Like I said, I don't really want this to be a save where we just sign all the best players coming through. Uh, I think Jamie Vardy is different because like I said he come from a non-league English team he was a late bloomer so I think he fits the Coventry transfer policy I suppose in a way anyway 2-2 two, two. not too bad at all uh, nice way to end the episode we didn't lose right um, let me just check two seconds I just want to check that this is definitely going to be last yeah 
so yeah that's it that's me done for today for this episode um i'm only going to be doing one episode a week of the cob save at the moment um that might change but i just feel like i need a day off before, before i get burnt out so i'm doing two episodes of the so show safe fm once uh that's each week and then one episode of the coventry retro database now obviously if the demand's there if i start getting more views for this series with the coventry say then i will do another episode a week but at least want to have a couple of weeks off where i'm just doing the one episode so yeah anyway i'll be back next week with another episode thank you for watching all the best speak to you soon bye